Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I look forward to reading for you a few poems from one of the sections of the CCMD magazine, August to or May to August 2022 issue collection book titled The Wall. The Wall. I hope you appreciate these <laughs> poems. This first one is titled Quiet for a While. Your incessant screaming is making me go insane. All I want is some rest, and there you go, bothering me again, destroying my peace. And when I finally feel like I'm one with the world, you harass me again. You screech and wail until I can't take it anymore, and I use my bare hand to strike you hard to shut you up. You stay quiet for a while. But only a day goes by before you do it again, and before you set me off again. I swear, if I didn't need you so much in my life, if I thought I could get along without you every morning, if I didn't need you to get me through my day, I would get rid of you. I, 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 I'd kick you to the curb because this cycle is killing me and and how many more times will you do this to me before you break down <sighs> but i know we'll do this daily battle before you're reduced to nothing <sighs> and i'll find someone else to give me life again that poem was about an alarm clock I was reading to you a couple of the new poems, or a couple of poems from this one series this poem is about, and I think they're really fun, so I'm hoping that you would appreciate them. They're from this CCD issue collection book titled The Wall, and this next one I'm going to share with you, haha, is titled Push Your Button. It's so easy. I only do this once to you. <laughs> and, and you get so hot. I, I know. When I push your button. And it only takes you a minute or two before you come for me instantly. You come up for me instantly. And, and I love what you do for me when I get you going. All I want is, all I want to know is this, how much longer, how many more times will we do this to each other? This is a poem about a toaster. These are so fun, this little section. I hope you appreciate these. From the CCND May to August 2022 issue collection book, The Wall. The Wall. It's got a cool shot of the Berlin Wall. Why not? Hey, the Berlin Wall. But the next one on this haha -ha is, flip the page, is titled Under My Fingers. I know I trusted you with all my secrets. And I know you'd never betray me, but I'm sorry. I, I grew tired of feeling you under my fingers. You were rough. I, I knew that. And, and maybe that's because you were my sounding board. You were the only one that was always there for me when I was at my lowest. But you see, I shared all my secrets with you because I wanted to bury those memories. So I hope you understand why I had to let you go. That was a poem about a diary. <laughs> 
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I hope you appreciate that. I'm going to do one more along that theme and then I might do one more poem or two for this section. I hope you appreciate them. These are from the CCND 2022 May to August issue collection book titled The Wall. The Wall. I got me a Berlin Wall. What? You're kidding. The Berlin Wall? Why not? Can't see it anymore, but you can see it on this cover. Um, this is a poem that's titled Only Occasionally. After being together, then dealing with all the hot air you spit at me, I can't take it and must get away. That was a poem about a hair dryer. <laughs> But I'm going to go right next to it in that book to a performance art section. And there are a few couple performance art photos that are in this section as well. For this next one I'm going to share with you. Um, when I read this in Chicago at this show, the person that's taking over poetry open mic in Chicago was like, that's an amazing piece to be able to hear that, which I think was really, really cool that they appreciated. This first poem that I'm going to share with you from this performance art section of this book, The Wall from a CCND magazine. I keep showing it off in case you wanted to know about it. You can find it at Scarset TV or you can find it at Amazon, I guess, but I'm not trying to sell. But you can always learn about CCND magazine. Scarset TV slash CCD and you can find out anything you'd like to know about it. This is titled Quieting in a Coke Chamber. Once on the job, I had to go into an anechoic chamber to remove a piece of machinery. You see, this room had machinery that would test if something could and would survive in space. So they make this entire room shake violently to see if anything inside stayed together. When, when that room shakes so violently, th there's a ton of noise. So they created this anechoic chamber they created this anechoic chamber there. This, this room had all these devices and slits and shock absorbers inside it, so all the inside sounds just disappeared. This room had no sound. I, I mean, no sound at all. And I had to go in and remove a piece of equipment once. That work should take about... 10 minutes. I didn't know what losing one sense instantly would do. Would you feel lost or panicked? With quieted footfalls, I, I worked in complete silence until I heard my blood coursing through my veins. After just a few minutes, without sound, I mean, almost no sound at all, I had to get out. Crazy, it's true. That was from one performance art show, but from a different performance art show that is also in this book, CCND. The Wall, which is the May to August 2022 issues of CCD Magazine. It's got a shot of the Berlin Wall on the cover. I keep showing it off for you guys. I'm going to share with you one more poem that has poems from a performance or show. I think it's in like 2011 or something. Really tiny and difficult to see. Though, if you wanted to see them as a bigger image, you could, well, uh, A, you could get the book. Or, if you looked online, there might be links to the images there as well. But... This is a good piece to end this section of reading with. This is titled 11 and 2 plus 8. Maybe I'm an observer, like an astronomer, looking out into the universe, trying to understand what makes everything, everything. Maybe I'm meant to be an astronomer, studying things colder than ice, far away. You know, 
Pluto is an aberrant ball of ice. I don't know. I was taught it was a planet, but then they told me, no, it's not. It's just a ball of ice from the Kuiper Belt. <laughs> but molecule by molecule, we originate from stars. And now I know we are all linked, or our bodies formed by stardust. But, but outer space is a violent place. Violent explosions create the stars, and our Earth has earthquakes, avalanches, volcanoes, tsunamis, typhoons. And in all of this madness, somehow I found you. I've survived the thunder and the lightning, the blizzards, the hurricanes and the tornadoes. I I've lived through the drought. I I've survived it all. I I've even been dealt a near fatal blow from humanity. <laughs> and with you, I've walked on the tops of bleak glaciers, crouching down from the violent winds, looking down into the beginnings of time. With you, I've watched solar storms from the geomagnetic aberrations of the aurora borealis from near the Arctic Circle. And we've looked at Venus through our telescope. And I've watched you photograph Orion in the night sky. So, with these observations, I be wed. Because after all my searching throughout the universe, I found what I've been looking for. <sighs> Ending on a happy note. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it was a nice astronomy theme poem from an astronomy 101 performance art show. And uh, that poem was given numbers because that poem was written that many years, days, and months since my wedding day. That's why it was named that. Like anybody would get that, right? But that doesn't matter to you guys. That was a cool, lovey feeling poem about the entire universe and about the goodness of humanity. And I hope you guys appreciate that. And I hope you appreciate these readings from the CCND May to August 2022 issue collection book, The Wall. And I uh, thank you so very much. And I might be able to do a few more readings from these books as I would often do at the beginnings of community poetry reading spaces. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope everyone stays safe, stays vaccinated, stays creative, and I look forward to seeing each and every one of you very, very soon. Thank you all so very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>